Hey, my friends, what's going on? It's your cash flow strategy skater on a beautiful, beautiful day, my friend. Happy New Year, 2019 is here. So in this video today, guys, we're gonna be talking about goals for 2019. Now, what I usually do every year, and I highly recommend, you know, if you're watching this video, this is something that I've learned from one of my mentors, and I've been doing it ever since. And ever since I've been doing it, my life has been transforming. Now, um, you might hear a lot of people talk about goal setting. It's, it's one of the most powerful things that you need to learn to do as an entrepreneur. Because as we growing, a lot of the time, we never set goals or write down goals. We just go through life not aiming at anything. So therefore, we just get whatever life throws at us. And usually, it's, it's what you don't want. You know, that's what you get out of life for the most part. So when I became an entrepreneur and one of my mentors asked me to set my goals, um, asked me, what are my goals for the year? And I was like, I don't know. And he's like, well, that's the reason you're getting the results you're getting because you're not aiming at anything. So therefore, ever since then, I start writing down my goals for this year. So this was last year's goals. You can see I wrote it down in this piece of paper. This is oh, it's 2018. This is 2017. All right. This is 2018. Okay. 2018. That was my... My calendar for 2018 so i wrote down my goals in this one so now we have a new calendar it's 2019 so those are my goals for 2019 you might not be able to see them but i'm going to share some of my goals with you inside of this video kind of a different video so i highly recommend you know hopefully you uh, my goal can inspire you and you can go and set out some goals for yourself. You know, if you don't aim at anything, you will actually get nothing. You know, Les Brown says that a lot of the reason why a lot of people don't succeed in life is not because they aim so high and miss is because they aim so low and get what they, they, they aim for. And for the most part, some of them don't even aim at all. So if you just shooting, that's why the most powerful force is laser because it's focused because if it's all around, if you're putting a laser all around, it's not focused, it's not powerful, it cannot cut anything. But once you focus at a center point that you need, that's your goal, that's what you're going after, you become so much more powerful. So that's what I want to share with you in this video. Hopefully it can inspire you. So the way I write down my goals, guys, I write down my goals results driven just i don't just write tasks you know back in the days i used to write tasks my goal would be like oh i want to do this i want to do this i want to do this and then it was a bunch of tasks but when i started learning tasks doesn't matter it's not about me creating a business okay i check this task it's results like what is this business this what do i do with this thing you know so at the end of the day you want to start writing your goals based results driven not task driven and then when I write my goals, I write them in the past. Why do I write them in the past? Because I tend to read these goals throughout the year. So whenever I read them, I want to read them in the past as it's all as it is already been accomplished. Okay, as it is already been accomplished. Now I have my spiritual goals and I have my business goal. I already wrote my spiritual goals yesterday while I was in church. I read those all the time. And this is my business goal, my personal goal. So I kind of break down. I break it down in four sections right now. I have my results goals, results driven, then I have my personal goals, then I have my social goals like social media and, and social life, life, then I have my health and fitness. This is very important to me. You know, what's the point if you, you know, if you have all this money, but you can't even get out of bed, you fat, you're not taking care of your body, you're not taking care of your health, you sick all the time, you can't enjoy what the work you put in. So health and fitness really on top of my list. And then I have a goal for vacation because I used to work a lot and never be able to take vacations. I make it a goal that every year that I can travel with my family, do fun things, and just get out of my comfort zone, go visit different country, meet different people, you know, for the fun of it. All right. So goals number one, results driven. Okay. I enrolled 10,000 people in membership site CS, which stands for cash flow strategist. Now, if you're watching this, the site is not up yet, but this year I plan to create a site called the Cashflow Strategist 
Okay, and that site is gonna be dedicated to entrepreneur to show them different strategy, just like I showed them on I'll show you on my YouTube in different videos. But the site is gonna be mainly showing step by step different strategy. They can actually just get in and start creating income. Different strategy. I'm gonna show them from beginning to finish with the computer, every process, how you do it, and how you're gonna do it. So I plan to create a membership site. You know, and for that membership site, I plan this year to have 10,000 members in that, that and enroll in that membership site, okay? And this is project number one, okay? Project number two, I enrolled, it's already happened, 20,000 people in my second membership site, which I'm working with, in a whole different niche with my wife, and this is something we're working together. We plan to get 20,000 members in there, okay? Which is gonna be pretty sweet. Um, Results number three, I help 100 students to get to 10K plus a month. That's my goal this year. I want to at least, you know, I want to at least have it verified. 100 people that actually quit their job. One of the things that I, I get from a lot of people is that, hey, Cater, I want to quit my job. I want to create this lifestyle. I want to create a business that supplement my lifestyle, that supplement my income, that can support um, me on, on what I do and I can go enjoy my passion and stuff like that. So I want to arm people with different blueprint and keep track of them, help them and see how I can get them to 10K. Because most people, their lifestyle is supported by at least 2 to 3K a month. If, they, if anybody can get to, if, so if you live in America, you know, if you get to 3 if you don't have any family, like if you, it's just you by yourself. Now, if you have kids and wife, you're talking about 5K, 4 to 5K will, will get you to a, just a regular life. Now, you can just sit back and then keep building your business. Because once you get to 10K, you got some saving, you got some extras, you know, you got some supply. So I think, you know, getting someone a 10K would give them enough confidence to say, hey, you know what? I don't really need my job. I don't really like this job. I'm not going to keep doing it for the rest of my life. So that's my goal, you know getting at least 100 students in the cash flow strategy to start creating at least 10K a month. Meaning if those people want to keep their jobs, fine. you know. But if they don't want to work, it's not going to be a requirement for them to keep working. So 10K a month. Okay. Four, goal number four, I hosted my first cash flow strategist event. Now, this is not going to be my first event. I hosted a no quitters event. I plan to host a second event for no quitters this year. You know, cash flow strategists and no quitter, they kind of run the same line. Cash flow strategist is just my new brand that I'm building. And I just feel like I just want to give people different strategy. You know, it's not, to me, it's not even, it's not even about whether you quit or not. I just want to create a hub. Whether people feel like, oh, I quit right now, because um, with the mindset of no quitter is just I'm telling people you can't quit, you can't quit. But I, you know, as I grow older and I have family, I understand life happens. Sometimes people have to go get a job and take care of the family, and then they have to come back when things are better. So I really want to create that hub whenever people are ready, because there's a saying that says when the student is ready, the teacher will appear. I want to create a hub to know that hey, I'm here for you. To know that hey, you, whenever you're ready, I have the tools and I have the training. I have the stuff that's going to help you carry you to your goals if creating a business online is what you want to do. So that's my goal. I want to host a, an event for Cash Flow Strategies, the first Cash Flow Strategies event this year where all of you that's creating cash flow, utilizing the strategy and the tactic can come to the event. We can meet each other. We can have fun. We can share strategies. We can grow together and we can get awards together, do different things, guys. It's going to be powerful. Okay. Number five, I want I reach a hundred thousand subscribers on YouTube and I'm getting sixteen thousand six hundred six sixty six views a day. Now you can see this is very specific. I'm making two hundred hours a day. Those numbers with sixteen thousand six hundred sixty six views a day, it'll get me to a million views a month because I want to get a million views a month on my YouTube and I want to reach a hundred thousand subscribers. I know for a fact I'm at seventy something thousand right now. And if you're watching this video, wherever you watch it, subscribe to the channel. That's going to help me big time. I really appreciate all my subscribers. All of you that watch my video, really, really appreciate you and that interact with my content, you know, that shares my stuff. I really want to tell you I don't take it for granted. Really appreciate you. So that's one of my goals to get the silver, at least the silver button. And then we're going to shoot for the gold after that. So we want to get the silver button and grow past the gold after that. All right. The next thing that I want to do, goal number six, is that I help my wife get her business to 40k a month. Now her business is flourishing and we're building it together. It's one of my goals to help her to get it to 40k a month, which is sustainable and she can keep crushing it. Okay. Number seven, 
I want to take our new e-commerce brand to seven figure. Now, we developing a whole new e-commerce brand that's not even from what I'm doing right now. We've been working on it for a little while. We have a lot of people and stuff on it that's working on the project. So we want to take that project to at least make seven figures this year. That's one of the goals that I have. So therefore, I say we did it already. All right, so now that's results driven. Those are the results that I'm looking for in 2019. Now let's go into personal results. Okay, personal results. Here's some of my personal results in 2019. One, I reduced my monthly expenses by a quarter. Okay, running the business, uh, personal, that's personal. Running the business is always going to require different expenses. And for the business to grow, you have to keep feeding it. It's one of the things um, you're going to have to learn. Uh, if you if your business start making money, for those of you that's part of the cash flow strategies and you learn these strategies, start making money. Don't do like me. In the beginning of my business, when I first started, man, when I started making some money, I go out there and buy Jordans. I bought a car. I took my friends out on vacation. I took them to the restaurant. I paid for their food. I just think I'm balling and I'm choking the heck out of my business. My business didn't grow because I'm choking the oxygen, the life out of it. The goal is to keep taking the money and reinvest into your business. So that's why I want to reduce my expenses to a quarter and then put that quarter back inside of the business that's one of my personal goals um second personal goal this year is to keep our credit over 750 plus now i was able to do that last year when my credit was sucked a couple years ago it was one of my goals matter of fact it was in this goal i wrote it down in this in this book i, we, I wanted to take our credit to 700 plus and i was able to do that the, the prior year and now i just want to keep our credit at 750 plus okay Number three, I want to build a hundred thousand dollars, build up in quit and credit access and credit access. Because right now we have different credit card, different things for our business. They're not at a hundred k yet in credit access. I want to get it to hundred k in credit access. Now this is one of the things that I'm going to teach you um, inside of the Castle Strategies on, on my channel. It's to build credit access. Now, the, the way to use credit, you want to be really smart. Like, don't take the credit and go buy cars or shoes or clothes. Don't buy liability with credit. Never use your credit for liability. What you want to do, never use the credit to start a business neither. Because you don't know if the business is going to fail. You know, seven, eight out of ten business fail in the first five years, guys. So a lot of the time, you're going to experience a lot of failure. Don't start a business on a credit. So what you really want to do is to start a business with your own money, scale the business with your credit. So now when you have 100K of credit access, if you selling a product on Facebook and you find a winner, now you're like, man, I got 100K. You're gonna if every time you put a dollar in ads and you're making three dollars, if you got 100K, you literally just have yourself 300K. You can literally put that 100K in and you pull out 300K, you make 200K profit. And then you put in the 300K again, you make 900K, now you got 600K profit. Then you put it you put it right back in. So that's the cool thing with having credit available for scaling. So keep your credit only for scaling your business. Once you find something that's working, push it in, scale the business, take it to the next level, okay? Fourth goal, fourth personal goal, I want to take my wife on a date, my kids on a date every month. I want to care better, you know, because to me, um, that's one of the main key is to be able to work with your spouse, work to work together, make stuff happen, you know, work as a unit, as a family. So if you winning, she's winning, or if you winning, he's winning. If you're a girl watching this video, it's small profit for all of you, small profit for your family. So I definitely want to do that. Number five, I want to read one book a month. Now. Last year, I put, I want to do one book a week. Oh, man, I'm not a reader, bro. I, I love the knowledge. I love the stuff. But with life, it's like, for some reason, I just, I, I collapse. I collapse where I was trying to do a book a week to the point I get to the point I don't, I don't even read at all. Like, that's how much I collapsed. I was like, man, this is, I just put too much pressure on myself because I jumped from one book a month to like one book a week. So I was trying to read every day, trying to get to pages. And I just felt like, man, reading is not making me that much money. Although I'm getting all the knowledge, they come handy at time. But at the same time, I needed to put time to build my business. So I, I'm going to scale down on that. I'm going to do one book a month because I'm writing my own book also. This year, I want to finish my book. You know, I'm, I'm almost there, almost done, get it published and get it out there. I want to finish my book this year. Number six, 
I want to start my own agency office. Now you'll see as I've made all my videos um, a lot of the time from home because I have a home office. I thought it was really, really cool um, for all those years to work from home because that's what I've been preached, like, you know, having the work from home lifestyle, chilling, and, and that's what a lot of people want. And I've been doing that for the last seven years. It's been great. You know, I, I work from home. I see my kids. I see my family all the time. I travel. It's just the work from home lifestyle. I've been doing it. But now I want to try something different. I want to open up an office. I want to do an agency. I want to get outside of the house. I want to have a whole team. I want to hire a group of people you know I want to at least give that a try see if I like it but this one one of the things I've done I want to do it this year okay so now we're done with personal let's go into social my social goals for this year social I want to go hard like next level like you know you're gonna see a lot of videos for me my goal is like to actually push out a video every single day really because you're gonna see a lot of stuff from me on Facebook and YouTube so if you follow me I'm gonna push a lot of information to help as many people as possible okay number two I eat easily reach 100k subscribers on YouTube and number three I easily run ads on YouTube for my other company now I've run different YouTube ads but now I really want to run those ads for one of our company that we see that the um, um, how, how can I say there's so much traffic there there's so much people there but there's actually like nobody running ads in that company so it felt it's it's wide open there's there's no one who's doing it like like a marketer can so I, I'm gonna go him into that business model and run a lot of traffic a lot of ads um, for, for that business okay social so we can expand the social brand of that business okay I easily reached two two million blog views Okay, so that's for my blog. For those of you that don't follow my blog, um, I have a blog at KetoComi.net. It's actually revamping. You know, one of my technicians is, uh, is working on the blog right now. We're going to give it a whole different face for 2019. And my goal is to get 2 million blog views. Right now, it's doing about 30,000 views a month. But I want to take it to the next level. You know, I want to get it to 2 million blog views. So, number six. I have uploaded 365 videos for this year. Oh man, that's video number one. Keep count, keep count, it's going down. So 365 videos. And those videos will be very value driven. This year, I wanna give so much strategies. Like every strategy that I know that I learned, I wanna give it to people. I wanna give it to you all, all that I can to help you, okay? Although I can show you lifestyle and stuff, but this year, I wanna focus on things that's gonna help you. Because I've already reached part of my goals, which a lot of people want to get to and if I can help out someone get to where I'm at and then I can push to the next level and then keep helping other people get to the next level I think it's gonna be it's gonna be worth it so that's gonna be the goal this year and um, last goal which is number seven on social is to outsource 75% of my business now a lot of my business is very tedious different things I have a lot of it outsourced right now I have people working for me I have different people working with me but I want to outsource 75% of it most of it and just do the part that I enjoy the part that I like the most which is making videos you know talking to people closing deals and, and training clients that's that's my most favorite part after as far as writing ebooks writing blogs creating the webinar creating the content doing all that stuff and, and I want to access the part that I don't enjoy I don't like doing graphics you know I I don't like editing you know I hate editing I want to access all of that okay health and fitness now health and fitness number one I want to completely stop eating meat this year I've eaten enough meat for my whole entire life been eating meat all my life this year I want to cut it out like I don't want to eat meat anymore I know it's, it's gonna be a hard process but I gotta start somewhere right so I'm gonna start little by little and then I'm gonna eradicate it all the way okay number two I want to reach 185 pounds the last time I was 185 pounds in weight was before I got married so I get married I mean I'm eating every day the food the meal is like yo it, it gets crazy and, and as I get older I feel like it's way harder for me to lose weight back in the days I just eat go to sleep no problem I got a six-pack abs and all that stuff but now it's like no matter how much I go to the gym it's like it's so hard to lose the weight so I plan to go to the next level and hire a trainer because we have a we have a gym at home um, in the community that we live in so I'm gonna have to hire someone from the outside to come and train me and just so we can help take it to the next level number three I want to fully replace juice with with water I don't want to keep drinking juice all the time it's a lot of sugar especially in the state man the food industry is just crazy the, the stuff you see on the food industry would make you not even want to eat anymore okay 
Last thing, vacations. Okay, the first, I want to take my first trip to Europe. I've never been to Europe. This year, I want to go to Europe. Next year, I want to go to Africa. I want to go to Ghana. Uh, my Ghanaian people, I love Nigerian music, Ghanaian music. Yeah, I got to go to Ghana and Africa. I have met some of you out there that always supports my video. So, I, you know, that's going to be one of my goals. But this year, I want to go to Europe. I want to go to France, um, Paris. I want to go to, you know, um, England. I want to take a tour. So that's going to be one of my goals this year. We're going to take a trip to Europe. I don't know if I'm going to bring my whole family, but I'm, I know for sure I'm going to take my wife with me. I don't know about the kids, but that's going to be my main goal, okay? And as far as vacation also, I want to go to a motivational event which is either Les Brown or, or E.T. So I'm gonna make sure I purchase my ticket early so that I can go to one of those events. So guys, in full, that is, that's my goal for 2019. Um, I, I write them down. I'm gonna read them every single day before I start my work. And then every time that I'm falling, I'm gonna look into this, see how I can grow and pass it to the next level. Now I could make this video very long and, and you know, and eradicate and, and, and go over everything. But I just want to keep this one short. Um, all that I want to say is share with me at least one of your goals, one of your public goals, even if you have some personal goal that you don't want to share, at least in the comment down below, share with me one of your goals for 2019. Okay, share with me in the comment one of your goals for 2019 and how we're going to rock it together. Again, thank you. It's your boy, Cater. I just want to say I believe in you. If you have goals, it's easier to make them become a reality. You know, every if you are goal-driven, you have purpose. You know, people that you see that change their life, that change the world, they have goals and purpose. They don't just wake up and just hope life will just be something is going to happen. But they write things down. And, and again, like I said, Last year's goals, I fell on a lot of them, but some of them I reach. You know, you're not going to reach everything that's on your paper, every goal that's in that book and that year. Sometimes the next year is going to come, you're going to have to rewrite the same goal you had last year because you did not reach it. But the cool thing is that your subconscious mind know that's one goal that you want to reach. That's one thing that you want to do. So whenever your subconscious mind knows something because you keep repeating it to yourself, guess what? It's going to find ways to make it a reality because you can't lose you just an automatic winner you can't lose because of the way that you treat your mind because that's the main key Re reading your goals every single day it's called the reticular system in your brain like if you have a car if you have a new car let's say you bought yourself a new red car a new red um, Toyota and everywhere you go you start seeing the Toyota right if Lamborghini is your thing a limbo everywhere you go you can start seeing that car because your mind will start picking up that car I don't know if that ever happens to you well it's the same thing if you train your brain for success if you train your brain for what you want if you tell it this is what I want and you keep saying it every single day guess what it's gonna find everybody that you need it's gonna find success in everything it's gonna find the successful people their characteristic their traits and it's gonna start picking the traits and bring them into you that's why having mentors through reading you know to reading to watching Facebook YouTube videos like this one to inspire yourself you know the world is is broadening now it's so crazy now you have access to mentors like myself to other mentors you can follow or whoever you can you choose to follow that's teaching you the stuff that you're not teaching you in school man it's crazy I was talking to one of my friends last year the year yesterday and he was telling me he's going to college for business I'm like what he's like yeah I want to be successful like you I see you a business when you're doing your thing I want to go to college for business I'm like well let me give you a quick news because I went to college for nursing and I never worked on that degree I never not even a day of my life set foot in a business class in college but yet I have businesses online that's making the type of money you know college teachers only wish for only wish for so literally guys it's not even things are changing if you watching this over the internet the internet has been one of the biggest opportunity that we ever had the key you got to take advantage of it you got to take advantage of it I don't know 10 years down the line what's gonna be a different opportunity but whatever era you live in there's always different opportunity that sets there's always a new train there's always different opportunity that's taking place the key is you have to become an opportunity seeker and you have to be willing to do the work do whatever that it takes so that you can win anyway that was your boy cater hopefully that inspired you go out there and win for your family go out there and learn the strategies create cash flow for yourself take yourself to the next level in 2019 don't stay another year i'm just gonna sit and watch and take action 
The results is going to leave in the action. I can have all these goals here. If I don't go out there and make those things happen, nobody's going to come and save me. Like the government cannot come and make my goals a reality. Like people waiting to vote. I don't even vote. I don't care for voting because look at my goals. Do you think the government care right now to come and make those goals a reality? And even if they was to care, do you think that it's going to take them faster than me? To make them a reality? Heck no. You know, they might be able to solve one problem for me, but they're not going to sit here and try to give me uh, 20, 50, 100 goals that I just wrote down to try to make all my goals a reality. So therefore, you're the closest person to change things for you right now. Not the government, not your pastor, not your church. You're the fastest person who can change things for you. So go out there and change things. Go out there and make it happen for yourself. Pound that. Pow! That was your boy Cater. I appreciate you. Leave a comment, subscribe, share this video with somebody that needs some motivation who's setting up their goals. That's my video for goal setting for 2019. I'll see you guys on 2020 and I'll tell you of the goals that I accomplished and we'll live it up together. I'll see you on the next one. Bye. Bye. It's a beautiful, beautiful day. Get in the game, balls in your lane. Push hard, push through, you can do it. I made up what you on, so let's crush it Don't stop, don't quit, go against the odds And we'll shine bright like a diamond Hold your breath, dive deep, cause I got your back Living life, living dreams Let's make that party stack, never quit mm. It's up to you, there's a limit But dreams never die if you try I'm